Time now for First Alert Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. And we start on our day planner, looking like it's going to turn out to be a, a pretty nice one for Halloween. And you know what? Even with some of the fog out there this morning, a little bit of that spooky look, that's a pretty good Halloween start, right? Temperatures way up in the 60s, likely going to see daytime highs that can get up over 80 in some spots, maybe not everywhere, but I do think we've got a pretty good chance to see temperatures up over 80 each day this week. So we're going to keep things on the warmer side of normal both afternoons and mornings. As far as the rain goes, boy, we've been watching this for days and days and days, just slowly inching across the Gulf Coast, but really losing a lot of its impact. Now, the best rains are way off to the north, and that's where they're going to stay. We still have some of these showers that are trying in parts of Franklin County, and maybe a few other areas can get lucky and get a little bit of rain, but I think a little bit of rain is probably the most we can hope for from this weakening and really not impressive looking system. Temperatures around the region are mostly in the upper 60s. Thomasville only at 64. That's one of the cooler spots, but we're at 68 in Quincy and Tallahassee at 69 at Camilla and Bainbridge and in Valdosta it's 70 degrees. Now the visibilities are something we've been keeping our eyes on throughout the morning because especially to the east like the I-75 corridor and farther east, we got lots of fog out there. Other spots will find patches of fog all over the place, so we'll keep our eyes out for that. I think this is one of those mornings we need to expect some of that fog. Future cast showing whatever's left of these showers to try and hold together, but really I think today's more about the clouds that will eventually clear out. And while it's not necessarily going to be straight up blue skies and sunshine for the next several days, I think after this morning's rain chances, we dry right back up and we should start to get a little bit more clear mixed in there over the next few rain chances today like 30%, so not real good. And then after today, I'm taking them out of the forecast. Maybe we can find some by the end of the week, but that's a maybe at this point. So let's take a look at that treat or trick or treat forecast and more dry, more warm in the mix for us today. And as we remove the candy from the jar, I think we're going to see those temperatures easing back through the 70s. But for 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and the sun goes down just before 7, by the way, it should be some pretty nice and clearing conditions for the trick-or-treaters. Our forecast over the next 7, not necessarily looking like you'd expect the first week in November to look, right? We're seeing temperatures in the 80s each day. Overnight numbers close to 60 each day. This is that time of the year where, you know, maybe 75 each afternoon is right, and maybe near 50 each morning is what we should be looking for. But we're going to be on the warmer side of normal, I think, all week.